Find out. The last time St. Paul Lutheran hired a new basketball coach, this was happening. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Okay, switch. For 51 years, Gil Thede has been on the sidelines. Get some hands hot. Coaching generations of young men. You don't realize how old you are until you, you notice guys that you've coached that are grandpas now. You look in the mirror and say, what happened? What happened is a lasting legacy. Your hand is like this. Between Gil, his brother Hal, and their father Harold, Athidi has coached the Panthers for nearly 70 years. We must be doing something right if, if they want to keep bringing their, their kids back here. Seeing him coach Zach now and his buddies and just going back in time, it, it's a neat experience to be sitting in the stands and listening to some of the same commentary and plays. We'll talk about it at dinner sometimes and like after games, talk about it. And you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember when I did that kind of thing. Zach and the rest of this year's team will be the last Panthers to play for Athidi. Gil and Hal are both retiring after the season. Our whole life has been tied up with St. Paul. We really don't know anything different. They have a chance to go out on top. All right, let's go down here. At 25 and 1, the Panthers are ready to strike in the upcoming state and national tournaments. I knew we were going to have a good team. I didn't know if we'd be this good. Hands high, Bentley. A title would be a fitting end to the Thede's incredible legacy. But in the grand scheme of things, it's just a small step. The giant leap is the impact these volunteer coaches have made on generations of students. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving me the confidence and the opportunity to be able to play. It's amazing all the people that I've met that, that I never would have met if I had just stayed being an electrician. Scott Grodsky, CBS 58 Sports.